Hi, my name is Kate Wilcox, and I'm going to compare the ages of rocks found in the Tuolumne Intrusive Complex in Yosemite National Park. This map shows the published ages of the rocks within the Tuolumne Intrusive Complex. The authors use zircon uranium lead dating, but I'm going to use a different model that uses rubidium 87 and strontium 87 to find the age of the rocks. And I'm going to see if I can get similar ages to this paper. Over time, radioactive elements decay from one element into another. In the case of this example, carbon-14 releases a negative beta particle, which increases the number of protons by one and turns into nitrogen-14. Rubidium-87 does the same thing and over time releases a beta particle, gains a proton, and turns into strontium-87. Based on the ratio of rubidium-87 to strontium-87, we are able to tell how old the rock is. The equation that we'll be using is as follows. D is the daughter product, in this case, strontium-87. D naught is the initial amount of isotope that we see in a rock. P is the parent element, or rubidium. T is time and lambda is the decay constant, or how fast the parent decays into the daughter element. Through measurements, we're able to find an amount of daughter and parent elements, but how do we find lambda and time? Lambda is given to us, but we still need to find time. So when you set up the equation, it looks like this. However, it is helpful when finding the age by dividing both sides by strontium-86, which is not radioactive and doesn't decay. So we will divide both sides by strontium-86. This equation can also be displayed as y equals b plus x times m, which should sound familiar as it's the same as the slope of a line, y equals mx plus b. So we have y and we have x from measurements of the rocks, but we need b and m. And to find them, we will take the slope of the line. First, we'll create a table using the data collected from the rock samples, where x is rubidium strontium and y is a ratio of strontium 87 over strontium 86. And we'll plot them in Excel. So here is our equation again. We've plotted X and Y on the graph. We can now tell Excel to add a trend line and an equation of the line. In order to find time though, we still need to find M and plug it into the equation. So what is circled is our slope or M. And to solve for T, our first step is to take the natural log of both sides and solve for t, as we've done in this equation here. So we have lambda and we have m, so now we can solve for t. By plugging these values into the equation and solving for t, we find that t equals 92.92 million years, which means the rocks of this sample are that age. So, on the left side are the ages that I found in using the rubidium strontium model. And they're different than the ages from the map, which is on the right side. In some cases, by many millions of years. This means that the magma that formed the Tuolumne intrusive complex may not have formed in one large magma chamber, which is what the rubidium strontium model is good at explaining. Because the model doesn't fit well, the Tuolumne intrusive complex may have been formed by multiple intrusions at different times. And we need to continue looking for another model that fits this idea better.